Hello, everybody. It is me spinning in a circle. Because the controller is on the floor. Okay. Well, I figured out how to talk to, how to hang off Kanji. At least I think I have. I think I have. Unless this person on Yahoo Answers is incorrect. I know how to. Okay, she's in the second learning corridor. She's near the stairs or near the end of the stairs. Is it you? Didn't. Hello? Uh. It says, you must talk to the girl in the second learning corridor. I think she's near the stair or in the end of the corridor. She'll explain that Kanji is bullying someone. And uh, after after talk to her, go to practice building first and find Kanji there. If he doesn't appear there, wait till the next day. If you find him, talk to Kanji. You have a so Ember social link. Like your chest gets tight. I don't even... I want to know, but I... Uh, I bet I already lost my chance. How much want to bet? Just like it's already gone. It's already done. It's already over, man. Game over. Second learning corridor. Are you the li what? <laughs> Touched in pairs? I don't understand. Well then. How about I talk to everyone? I just want to talk to everyone. Hey. Uh, I read it. Oh. Uh, that was my bad. Yeah. It says Wednesdays is one of the days. So apparently on certain days, there's a woman over here. On certain days, and I talk to her, and then she'll tell me that Kanji's bullying someone. So I can't do it today, which kind of bones me out, because that means basically I'm going to be wasting today again. Unless I can find someone to hang out with. Or unless maybe it's the wrong... I don't... I don't know. Rizzi wants to hang out. But... Well... It's better than... Going to hang out with that cat again. Spend the day together. Yep. Make some more love, and you know what I'm saying. No, oh, she wants to cuddle with me. That's awesome. Why are we not cuddling? Yeah, I'm liking this. Oh yeah, just so you know, it's episode 57, guys. Yep. I think. No, no, it's not. No, it's 52. Yeah, 52, 57. Oh, so I want to make you even happier. Yeah, make me happy, girl. You know, you know how to make me happy. Ha <laughs> ha. Tight bond. It's so obvious what's happening. It's so obvious. It's awesome too. It's so awesome. Love this game. I got it on with the chick upstairs. Don't tell. Don't tell Dojima. What's in the fridge? Whatever, I'll go make some more origami cranes and get my understanding up. Look at all the fancy colors. Come on, I'm level three, it still hasn't gone up yet. You suddenly forgot how to make origami cranes. Dude. If you forgot, just take a deep breath and figure it out. Continue next time. I'll drain you today. 
I bet the girl's not going to be there today because it's raining. Okay, we'll go check, though. We'll go check. If not, we'll go we'll have sex with Rize again. If, if, the need, if need be... Hello? Nope. Yeah, it's raining today. That's what I figured. Hey, you, you want to not be mad at me? Uh-oh. I should report back to Fox, yeah. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to report back to Fox. It's not wasting... Wait, wait, is that girl? Hello. Oh, you... Maybe they meant the third floor. You never know. Something might happen. Third floor near the stairs. Hey. Huh. Alrighty. You're not a girl. Alright, fine. We'll go talk to Fox then. It's good. It'll lower the amount of money that'll cost. And something to do other than sitting with that cat again. It is raining, so no one's going to hang out, obviously. And tomorrow, I have off from school, so I won't be able to find that girl that day. But then Monday, oh, maybe if it's not raining, she'll be there. Uh, I know for a, a fact, kind of, that Wednesdays are good days, as long as it's not raining. So, It's going to spend a day here, yep. Call the fox. Rainy day. Oh, oh. Exuberant. Yeah. Howl. Howl. Boom. Rank 6, I think. Rank 2. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm a little behind with the fox, you know. Me and him, we used to be good friends, you know. <laughs> oh. Another day. Oh, it's October now. Woo! New month. Alright, let's go make some origami stuff. Episode 52. Getting stuff done. Making origami cranes. Getting stuff done. Look at all those colors. Come on, up it. Cheer yourself up, Charlie. Come on. How's he cheering himself up? He's like, <laughs> laughing the whole time. This animal looks like it has a penis for a neck. <laughs> oh, I'm cheering myself up. Day off from school. How about I go to that TV over there? Buy some more stuff. Oh no, who's calling me at this hour? Uh, hello? Dude, no. No. I Just stop. Just stop calling me. Just, I'm gonna delete your contact from my phone, GA. We're over. It's, it's done. Peach battle suit. Wasabi jelly. Man. Just what you need, some girl clothing with jelly. Red goldfish. I'm kind of liking the red goldfish. Red goldfish. Here we go. Done. I don't know why, I just... I don't want, I don't want a battle suit, that seems weird. Man, I made it out of peaches. Or is it like Princess Peach Battlesuit? Because that could be different, maybe. But. 
Oh, Japan. First of all, we need to go out and get the new Fox Quest, because it's always good to at least have that, you know? You mean, you might not, like, it might not be super great to have it, but I might not even do it, but at least I have it. Like, that that girl quest, I, I had no idea I was even doing that quest. I was just like, hey, what's up, girl? And she's like, hey, guess what? I did a confession. Hey, Fox, I need the next Emma. Oh. Jesus. Sure. I wish I didn't crave snacks. Hmm. What is there to do today? Pretty much nothing. Well, now. What can I do? Hmm. Oh, can I do this? Ugh. Somehow I never just... Never is gonna, like, occur ever. Hmm. Well. Let's go to the floodplain. Basically, it's same shit, different day. I don't. It's basically what it's looking like. I want to talk to some of these dudes. I want to see what they're here for. What are you here for, man? Okay. Lamps. Jesus. One of those games. Okay, how would I how would I get an uh, eternal lamp out of a game? Makes no sense. Like I'm gonna like, pull the item out of like a video game. You're new. Don't bother me. That make me fat. Could this be the girl in the Emma? Girl, stop. Just, just sit down for a second. Hold up. I need to find a... Maybe I have to give her one of those odd morsels. Maybe she'd, like, get fear and die. What up, dude? Rawr. What? I don't even know what to do now. I think it's time to go home. <laughs>
Hmm. Why did I even come back here? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm like completely out of it. I'll spend time playing this cat. <sighs> Again? I don't, I have no one to hang out with, so I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Now with Dojima. Mm. Critical hit to the nads. Is this rank 10? Huh? Oh. Special day. fun I think I was scared. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. Interesting. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. Hold me, Charlie. Hold me. Was it hard when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Did it hurt? Uh. God, my dogs are barking now. I always decide to bark when I'm recording a video. Ginger, <sighs> hush. Gosh. Hero Fant. It's rank nine. Thanks. Thanks.
<laughs> Starting with the eyes, going down to the testes. What? Tears taste differently depending on the situation. Tears of regret are salty. Sad tears are watery. Hmm. That is rather interesting. The parasympathetic. See, the sympathetic is whenever you are, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of my psychology class and what I learned. Parasympathetic is when you're, uh, one of them is when you're stressed and the other one's when you're at rest. Rest is when you're parasympathetic. Stressed out is when you're sympathetic. My knowledge has increased. Obey. Yeah, okay, let's uh, go find that girl. Don't want to forget that. <laughs> Is there a new woman over here? Of course not. Uh, what? You gotta be kidding me. You're not a girl. Go on the first floor just to check. Maybe I might even need to go to the practice building, but I'm gonna figure this out. I don't remember actually ever getting conjured as a social link on, like, on, on any of my playthroughs. That's probably why. I know I definitely didn't get him on my first playthrough. And obviously this playthrough now. Hey. Uh, thank you for telling me these things. It said the second floor, so. It would have to be up here. Hey, you. Tell me about bullying. Bullying. I don't want... I'm not gonna find your effing thing, woman. Well, remember I did say on Wednesday it's guarantee apparently, so. Hmm. Maybe it's a girl at this end. I don't know, I just wanna figure this out because. I'm, you know, running out of things to do. Hmm. Can I hang out and get the moon social link? What? I'm gonna go out. With your overabundant courage, you're able to slip out of class with ease. Alright. Invite me to lunch, lady. Hey, you, Porky. Alright, Piggy. What do you say? thought that was Kanji there for a second. I'll hang out with you kid today, I guess. Might as well. What up? Mm -hmm. All the girls want to go to my room be alone with me. Okay, I just 
reading this thing on the internet, it says he needs to be on the first floor of the practice building or in front of his front of his family shop. This means make sure it's a Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday without rain. The final requirement I found is that you need to have no one in need of rescuing in the TV world. Okay. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Once again. So basically, to, this Wednesday. I'll just do some cranes. Make some more cranes. I'm literally running. Okay, no, I'll hang out with my boy here and get level 10 with him. We're level 9, so shouldn't be too many more times. Get this done. I'm exhausting all possibilities. You can drink 2.5 liters of water every day. Why 2.5 liters? Because I'll tell you why. You know, that's how much. It, that's how much water you lose on a daily average. Hmm. I choose you, Charlie. How many of those 2.5 liters of water do you think you lose by sweating on average? I'd say about 0.5 liters, mate. How'd you know, Charlie? I'm impressed. About 1.5 liters of water leave your body through waste. About 1.5 liters, uh, 0.5 liters leave through breathing, and another 0.5 liters through from sweat. So you lose water just from being alive. See why it's important to drink it. I especially recommend you what you drink, what that you drink water after exercise. Well, that's it for today. You dismissed. You answered correctly. You're pretty good, mate. You got your knowledge up. That's all you need, mate. Wait, I'm not British, dude. What are you even thinking? I could be British, though. I don't know. I mean, would people like me better if I was British? That'd be very interesting to think about that. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be raining, isn't it? Because it's the day that Naruto should be dead. Oh, bloody hell. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Uh, okay, how about we go eat a beef bowl? That at least might get some things other besides for knowledge and, you know, expression of. There's a possibility. It's better than wasting time with a cat. And then tomorrow, maybe it might not be raining. You never know. It, sh it probably will be, though. Hopefully Thursday it won't be raining then. I know tomorrow is the last day of saving... If you don't do it tomorrow, she's dead. That's, that's what I remember. October 5th. Maybe I'll have to eat another beef bowl tomorrow. And then... On Thursday, then, it, it should stop raining and everything will be okay. Start the next segment of the story. The next chapter. Yum, 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 yum. Well, I got two of those things, so it's good. Courage and diligence up. Anything in the fridge? Uh, I don't think I need want that. I mean, I love it, but I think I make some origami. Make some origami planes for volunteer work. Come on. There's a lot of cranes there on that table. Come on. Let your eyes relax. What? Plain dull paper? Wow. Yep, it's gonna rain today, so no chance of kanji, but there's a chance of beef bowl. Yes, I'm studying very hard. Ginkgo trees are stinky. <laughs> what? Yosuke! 
Do I have any ideas of, of ginkgo leaves? Uh, I mean, I would say the green pigment, you know, ages, you know, ages, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he appreciates me. On well, my expression, I don't care about no expression. Waiting for Nalto to recover. Well, let's go see if that woman's there. You never know. She's probably not, but whatever. Let's just get a beef bowl instead if she's not. Hey, that dude wasn't here normally, I don't think. I'm not anal. <laughs> Alright, dude. Whatever floats your boat, man. Alright, let's just go eat the people. Beef bowl. Yeah, save some time. I know no matter what with the beef bowl, that I will at least raise one of the characteristics at the very minimum that I have. Because the only ones that I have filled up right now are knowledge and expression. So even if I get knowledge and expression up, there's still another characteristics that I'll get up, and that will increase. Hopefully understanding increases. Understanding? Yes. Eh. Alright, knowledge, uh, understanding, and diligence. Better than nothing. Someday my understanding will increase. I don't see how it's that like, low. It doesn't make any sense. And now the weather. Now Toe ended up dying. Thank you for telling me this. This is the same thing that she says every time. Alright, let's go check the fridge. Probably nothing, though. Let's go make some more origami planes. Cranes. Oh, I gotta watch the Midnight Channel. Whatever. Can I make the cranes and then watch TV? I mean... Nothing's gonna be there, I know. Or will there. Yes, the killer has been thwarted this time. Now everything's good in the... Oh, the killer. Damn it, again? Oh, no. <sighs> that was scary. Alright, now I'll go find that girl. Here we go. Yo, what up, dude? Just walking to school. All nonchalant like. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to. Hey, it's the Detective Prince. More like That's Princess. No prince. I mean, <laughs> he's a she. Wow. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then. Oh, oh crap! Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gay after all. Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Uh, yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Alright, everyone needs to leave now. <laughs> my, my. Rumors spread so quickly. We're on your side. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. 
There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. Gotcha. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. Uh, this is a buzzkill. dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone like Gotcha. Alright, cool. Let's go over the finer points. Okay, well, I know I need to find that girl for school. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to make me go right to it, isn't it? Oh. Maybe next week. First, I heard the doorbell ring. Oh, I can't even do it on Saturday because Saturday's going to be raining. I'm looking at the calendar or whatever right now. And on Saturday, it's going to be raining, so I can't do it that day. Let's see, next Wednesday, it's raining. Next Thursday, it's clear. So basically, next Thursday, we're looking good. Let's schedule the schedule that for next Thursday. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind. Ooh. And covered my mouth with something. I like that. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack, and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Roughly from the behind, sack. All right, we're cool. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. Chloroform. I a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was Ow. desperate to gather as much information <laughs> as I like broke my headphones. Uh, okay. No wonder you're an ace detective. That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. I would know. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. We can know what's okay. We know it's a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So he kidnapped you. And then you were instantly thrusted into the TV. So were you thrown in through your one of your own TVs? But then why would he put you in a sack if he's going to throw you in through your own TV? So did he bring a TV with him? Or is his house really near your house? I don't know. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Uh, you know what? Why would there be a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. And, going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So we know the culprit comes up to eat, or the victim's door and rings the bell. It means that... If, I mean... Hmm. He's got to be a person that everyone would answer the door for. If it was some creepy dude, then no one would answer the door if he came and rang the bell. I wonder. So that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron? Everything makes sense now. Kind of. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kuro's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. Hmm. That's it. That's what was bothering me. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? How do you know he could? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time... What if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. 
It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. Hmm. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Hmm. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. <laughs> I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naruto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... Oops. I'm not saying you should have caught him, but... Isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Wow, SK, you're just a jerk. Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I'm sorry. Wow. It can't be helped. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You're a girl. <laughs> you got balls. For a girl. Ha <laughs> ha! That is clever. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. Yes. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Sure, you're on the team. Thank you. I'll do my best, leader. Yep. Cool. Full up link. The light. Hey, this game's closer to being done than I thought. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, <laughs> I knew it would work out this way. Ta da! Now, Chan's glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Teddy's cool. They told me about you, Teddy. They said that you might read me, so to get a whistle. And... I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Cool. Wow. What a nice girl. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll just have to wait to, for them to make the next move. Delivery for me. I got a bunch of red goldfish. Price sticker. Hot damn. Look at that panda on that TV. Looks demented. What's in the fridge? Let's go make some origami cranes. And then maybe we'll go through one more day. One more tiny short day, you know. And then... I might call it then. One more day, yeah. Seems nice. Yeah. Oh no! Rely on muscle memory. Woo! Antibiotic gel. Just what I needed. Let's go th get through this day. And save it, and we're done. Excuse me. Do you have time after school today? Jeez. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. Interesting. A doctor? 
You mean a vet? A vet? Wow. The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. Interesting. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. Okay, so we have herpes. We see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Interesting Since consideration. You've been active on the other side far longer than I have. You should definitely be examined. Put. Negative effects? Don't, don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But yeah, I. Never... Yep. I've arranged to have Kanji Kun and Risei san looked at as well. Hmm. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are, are you sure you're not an adult? Haha. <laughs> Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. Way to be a dick, Yosuke. Going to the hospital, yay! <sighs> uh... Yeah, listen, uh, Naoto, uh, are they going to be doing drug tests? Because uh, I got a little problem with that. That was just an ordinary checkup. I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. <laughs> was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused, too. Oh, they're back. Oh, they're back. My deep voice. I'm very sorry for the wait. Apparently, Teddy has no penis and also no belly button. I'm very sorry for the wait. Shut up, Teddy. Just shut up. So, did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an X-ray, but nothing came up on it. Amazing. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. How about we cut them open with a knife and just look inside? That'd be fun. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? He took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray you'd do work. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and <laughs> the net. How to use a persona. A persona means something like another personality. Oh really? And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. But... Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Interesting. Uh, I can't really explain. Uh. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power. And when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? Doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Hmm. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. Hmm. There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. What kind of data? Give me the dirt. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world. So... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the, the results of everyone's physical exams. Charlie, penis size, 15 inches. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. What? No, no, no you won't. Give them to me now. Yes. No. Ooh. First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh. Who would have guessed? Now I'll tell. It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? <laughs> Look, 
If you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. That's the best thing ever. What? Are you a complete and utter moron? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Wow. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. Amazing. Just, yeah. No, don't say mine. Ah, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. This is this is just weird. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. My dolls are not barking. They sense the awkwardness. What? <laughs> oh yeah, Naoto Kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto Kun's is. Uh. Flat. Huh? Oh. Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Yeah, there's this popular little fan fiction thing. Not really fan fiction, but this little thing that basically it's like an inside joke that Naoto apparently has ginormous breasts, but she has uh, an apparatus that holds them down. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, anyways, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Run. Ah, uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Let's go home. All right, that was pretty awkward. Teddy, hey, you want a After social link? That, they found out nothing about. Yep. Let's let's. There's... We'll find out together, Teddy. Let's social link up now. Yeah. Dog has a some desire to bark. Rank six. Yes, rank six. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind. We probably should go, Teddy. All right, let's save the game and call it an episode. Looks like next episode we're probably gonna hang out with uh, our boy Dojima. This is it. It's been a couple episodes. How will we make a backup to just in case? You don't know. At one time it scared me because it was like, it's corrupted. I'm like, what? No. Beautiful. Though I guess if it does get corrupted, then like all the data is gone, not just one safe file. But you never know. Alright guys, well, uh, we'll see you guys later.